A few other questions. What were PayPal's initial marketing strategies? We have two strategies. One is for consumers, logically, and the other one is for merchants. Let me walk you through the, each strategy. Consumer strategy, today, a strategy is about solving a problem, I would say. So what is the problem when you and I are trying to buy online? We face different hurdles. The first of it is our credit card issued locally may not be accepted in merchants overseas. So when you link it to a PayPal account, now it becomes a PayPal transaction and you have 10 million of PayPal merchants around the world that could accept it. So we solve the first problem. The second problem you face is you are not able to get your stuff, your products back to the Middle East because our addresses are sometimes kind of weird. So we have a partnership with Aramex uh, and we are working on the shop and ship of Aramex where now you can open it with paying with PayPal, the subscription as well as the transaction. By doing that now with PayPal you can buy somewhere else, with shop and ship and PayPal you have an address in the US and you can have them delivered here. Our merchant strategy, there is also a problem today, is people, young entrepreneurs, or not so young, but entrepreneurs, need to take their business online and start selling. The problem is they face is when they were to go to a bank and obtain, looking for a merchant account to start selling, traditional players, payment gateways, will charge a lot ahead of the transactions. There will be a deposit, and the younger you are in terms of business, the riskier you, you seem and the higher the deposit then they will charge also a setup cost and then they will charge on an ongoing basis a maintenance cost. When you bring all these costs together, that's a lot of cash flow that an entrepreneur needs. And then they will charge you little on a transaction basis. The PayPal model is exactly the opposite. No deposits, no setup, no maintenance, only a transaction cost. So bring that to a marketing message is we enable entrepreneur and essentially, you're being much more transparent about the costs. It's all included in the commission fee. That's exactly it. In fact, we our model is you, once you don't, if you don't sell, you don't pay. The more you sell, the lower you pay. It's a tiered based pricing as well. It, you, I would recommend uh, con the uh, consumers. I would recommend the consumers to go on the website paypal.com dash AE, if to take an example of the UAE, and there is always at the bottom a tab called fees. The fees, you just have need to go there and find it out. There is also on Wanda a very good iconographic describing the fees and the comparison of the fees. The PayPal fees are a percentage and a fixed fee per transaction, and then a conversion fee when you bring your uh, USD transactions into local currency. How does PayPal determine which countries to expand to? That's another thing people always want to know. Can you just comment on that? Of course. To, to expand in a country, for PayPal to expand in a country, it, the ecosystem must be in place. And what is the ecosystem? First of all is infrastructure, internet capabilities. Another layer of infrastructure is phone and GSM, and smartphone availability. And the third one is card penetration. The last one will be logistics. Now, all these pieces, and then I would say the fifth one will be market value. All these pieces are building up quite well in the region. That's why we are in the region now. We are looking to expand more markets as a market mature. And that's why the next one to come would be Egypt or Lebanon. When it comes to expanding into different countries, um, do governments play a role in that decision? So government always play a role in any decision, of course. And we, uh, we, we entertain extremely good relationship with regulators around the region because we help them enable something important for them. Now, government does not play a role in which market we want to go in the sense that we engage with regulators and we inform them of what we do and all our uh, uh, anti-fraud systems and protections. We r always receive extremely good uh, feedback from regulators because we enable entrepreneurs to take their business online. And in the region where unemployment is high, entrepreneurship will be the solution to the problem. Absolutely. If our readers have any more questions after watching this video, where should they send them? First of all, come to Wanda 
frequently you will have all the information one that will be kept aware of all what we do and you will find the information and all the standard question will be answered on uh, Wanda. If not, send us an email to mina at paypal.com and with pleasure we'll answer you your specific questions. Excellent, Elias. Thank you so much for chatting with us and answering all of our readers' questions today. Ahlan wa sahlan. Ahlan bi.